Welcome to Electric Felix. Today in the Porsche Taycan testing out the Tesla charger network. So because I pushed the button on the inside the port is open already. And now the question is will this cable reach? But these cables are awfully short. So as you can see maybe no no there's no there's no physical way to make it possible without going up there. So I will. Welcome to the show. This is the Taycan 4S at the V2 supercharger in Breukelen. Hello there. As you can see, uh, right now it is in the driving sports mode position. And obviously, since this, this is not my car, uh, I need to raise the body to make for lesser beautiful pictures so I can actually go all the way up there because this cable will never make it otherwise but what I want to show you is that there are stalls possible for many cars to not block anybody because the Taycan has the right front CCS charging port so I looked around the parking lot to find the best stall for me and as you can see we're in the Netherlands many stalls are available this is just a Friday morning I don't have the car for a long time, so I need to be quick here. In the vehicle, I got everything on to consume some power to try and get this charging down. With that button, I opened the charging port, but that is not uh, what it's all about. I need to raise the chassis level. This is not my car, so it's all in Dutch. I would put it in English myself. Imagine this, I can tell the car to always lift when in this location. Imagine if I want to visit the supercharger every week, the Porsche will remember it. Beautiful functionality. So, look what I did. All the way to the front. Huh. I have to do it twice. And now, that works fine. Tight cable no problem get your air suspension ready on your porsche don't forget it so welcome to my android phone where i got the tesla app just this monday and because i'm in the netherlands and i registered a dutch account it offers charge your non-tesla and it shows nearby superchargers hello breukelen so we are here at 14b without blocking anybody so let's check it out because i became a member for 13 euros it is only 26 cents per kilowatt hour here so i select 14b i press start the charge cars at 17% tried the maximum I could get out of there no clicking sound nothing yet so it's taking longer than I would expect I wonder if that's because of the plug but it's as deep as it can get. And the app warns you that it may take up to two minutes to connect to the charger. But it is taking a long time. I heard a clicking sound. 
I heard a clicking sound, but nothing seems to change. Came from the high voltage cabinets. Ah, but maybe it was just because he disconnected over there. So it's been taking way over two minutes. It still shows this message. Ah, and now the car actually shows this red symbol. So I'll press stop. To avoid idle fees, move your car. Okay, okay. Uh, I still wish to charge. Let's try again. Ah, it knows that I didn't disconnect the cable. So let me do so. Put it back and try again. Did I select the wrong stall? Maybe I did. 14B. Let's try it again. I think I heard a clicking sound and I was inside the car so I'm not entirely sure about it. Yeah, it's green. The cabinet clicked. So when you press it you can actually see the kilowatts because normally it shows something with uh, amount per minute blah 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 instant 110 kilowatt charging power at 17 percent this is a Taycan 4s big battery 122 still at 17 percent so we didn't even charge a percent yet 123 welcome to Tesla supercharger v2 in Breukelen, the Netherlands, with one Model X and two Model S's, probably all charging for free. Over there, the Taycan 4S that I borrowed just for this quick, fast charging test. I really have very little time and that makes for a quick run. I will visit the V3, V3 version after this. Uh, try and get that battery even emptier so I will stop this session soon seems to max out at 124 kilowatts the battery will not be very hot because I drove it for maybe 40 kilometers if that I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the charge because I don't expect it to really ramp up even though technically of course it would be possible to at higher speed I hope so at least maybe a future test will show this but for now I want the maximum testing opportunities at the V3 aim Ness later on see you there